I don't know if anyone saw our hot seat yesterday. It was a big one. We did some deep work yesterday. And one of the lessons that we learned was you have to hear what's in your body even more than you hear self-help. I, I just want you to get this. Like, I'm here and I'm here to help you aim your focus on what's going on inside. What needs to be heard in your chest, in your throat, whatever. And a lot of people go, I've done all this work. I've listened to this speaker and this speaker and this speaker and this speaker and this speaker. And I can see that it's been a very big thing in our world to listen to the speakers more. You can listen to them, but not more than what's in your body. You have to be at least 51% at the stuff that's in your body more than the rest. And this is, this is so big because like you could actually see people that are listening to content as a deflection from what's in their body. You know, we often look at Netflix and social media and all these things as things that we're distracting from our soul, but just so you know, so can content be. And I'm trying to be content that will aim you at this thing so that we're actually transcending things. But I want you to listen to what's in your body even more than me. Right. So because of that, today we're going to listen and do a much longer meditation because your transformation is literally at the level of you listening to what's in your body. Right. That that there's anger in your body, that there's shame in your body, that there's pain in your body. And I want you to up your listening to what's here uh, in 2023 much more than you have before. Right that you're going to spend a lot more time alone or a lot more time going on walks, a lot more time, right? You listening to this. I'm listening to this more than I'm delivering content. Like I'll go on a one to two hour walk and maybe I'll make a one minute video and the video will be something that's kind of getting you to have permission more from you since I'm giving it to myself to listen deeper. There's a level where self-help will cap you from growing, right? And I will do what I can to keep you looking at you, but really take that in that there is, there is, you can listen to self-help on a level where you're listening to all these other speakers and you're capped. And it's like the, it's, this is about you hearing God. This is about you hearing you, this is about you hearing the inner child that feels shame. And, and I'll tell you one thing we also discovered from the call yesterday, moments that you're triggered are jackpot moments. See, we have created a world where when we're angry at someone, someone triggers us, we go, that person's pissing me off. But I just want you to check out the difference between that person's pissing me off and there is anger in my body. Both are true. One is you're helpless and in this place where you have to do everything you can to get that person over here to stop pissing you off. Stop triggering this thing that's in here. But in your body, it would be amazing if someone triggers you for you to then let go of that part and go, there is anger in my body. That gives you full ability to transcend it. You're listening to the anger in your body not your trigger at the per person outside, right? Your trigger at the person outside, you have no, no, nothing you can do about. In fact, that's kind of the world we're addicted to. I want to live in a world where I can't do anything about it. In other words, it's very scary for people to just completely admit they have full control and power over all of this. But like you have a world where you want to feel connection to that you're a little bit helpless and you can feel that with other people. You're looking for some type of external authority. You're doing everything you can to find it on the outside. It's over here. It's over here. But isn't it scary in a way, but also so empowering to be like, actually, the deepest truth is you are the whole thing. The deepest truth is you can transcend the whole thing but you have to celebrate that. You have to surrender that. You have to be with the idea that you actually have all the power in this, right? And you and source, you and the now. I mean, definitely you need the help of the now, the, the you, I don't mean the small egoic self, but 
take in the idea that, you know, we want someone else to look up to. We want some answer outside of us. We grab as many books as we can. We grab all these different things. Even those little moments when you're at a restaurant and you're like, what do you want to eat? And you're like, I want to eat based on with you versus I have the, all the answers in me. I'm going to have to transcend a little bit of loneliness right now. I'm going to have to transcend being on the external only that I just get all my, like you have all the power, but you have to decide you're ready to meet it. You're ready to face it. You're ready to accept. I mean, are you willing to accept that you have the ability to transcend all of the trauma in your body and this planet as a byproduct of that? You are the one. You are the one. And we're leaving the old paradigm where the one is a construct outside of you that, that is the answer to your life. You're, you're leaving the concept of that, that someone else will come in and, and save everything. You're leaving the concept that the right government is the answer. Ugh. Right? Think about that. Like how, the, how many people are out there going, it's only when we get this politician in or this per like, don't stop looking for an external thing. You connect to the truth of what you are and see what happens. Stop waiting for it to be in another politician or someone else having power or whatever those, uh, those ideas of power, which are such less power than you actually have, right? You have more power in you than someone being assigned to president and just seeing their power is based on laws and government and the idea that money is more powerful than you. Like that is so weak. The idea of power being government or in any of that has to imply that you don't understand quantum physics or any aspect of what you are, right? That it's based on, we'd all have to think that we're small separate selves for the president to be the most powerful being. Ugh, that's nothing. That's nothing compared to what you are, but that's a total paradigm change to everything you've ever known because you'd rather be mad at someone out here or scared of the world. It's like familiar to be worried about the external as a way to not just own, dude, it's just triggering what you've never looked at in your body. That's all the external is doing. You have nothing outside of you that you're scared of or angry at, but it triggers what is in your body that you haven't looked at because you've spent so much energy over here. You've spent so much energy outside of you. It's a new day. It's a new day today. And today is the day that we're deciding I'm ready to face what's in my body. And I'm not going to continually declare with every word I say that someone outside of me has power over me, that someone outside of me triggers me, that someone outside of me is what I have to change, that the world outside of me I change to avoid the real trauma in my soul, in your body. It's just patterns because you've learned life from your parents' egos. And then you, you sit on top of these things that this is the year we're going to see. This year we're going to see. And you're going to do what you need to do to not deflect from what's in your body. You're going to do what you need to do to support whatever would expand you enough to be the actual being that you were designed to be in the first place so that you can see the traumas that have been avoided all the way up till now and eventually let them transcend. There's nothing outside of you that has more of an answer than you. There's no self-help that has more of an answer than you. There's nothing. You on long walks and long meditations, love creativity, listening to what is coming through, and you following it and learning will move you from an adventure of witnessing change to being the change on the planet. Don't get too caught in other stories of, of breakthroughs and declaring miracles all day without truly embodying the understanding of that. There's, a, there's, an, there's an equivalent of watching self-help and studying self-help and talking about self-help that would be the equivalent of going to the gym and never lifting a weight and talking about the weights and the, and the, tre the treadmill and just 
always being like where I'm in the spiritual community is the same as I go to the gym and I, and I watch five people work out and then I hear, I see them get fitter. And then I go and I tell everyone else about fitness and I tell everyone else about what it can be. And I declare it and I write books about what I saw and I do all this stuff, but I'm not freaking getting on the treadmill. I'm not lifting a weight. You're here to do the real work. And there's a whole world of people screaming spirituality as witnesses of a few other people actually lifting the weights. And you, I, I think it was Bob Proctor that said, do not be the extra in the movie of your life. Stop being just a witness of other spirituality. Stop being Stop being an extra in the movie of your life. You need to become the star and let source talk to you louder than self-help. That's your job. What are you supposed to do? Don't let this content fill you enough that it feels good enough so you don't go do it. What do you need to actually do to live the actual experience of your own unique transformation into the absolute truth of what you are? What do you need to do different? What do you need to do that's not just you watching it, being an expert on everyone else's content? What is you? What is your unique thing? Don't deprive the world of the real you. We need you and your own way coming through that you're listening on a whole new level. We need you. We need you so badly. We need you hitting the gym your way, right? You, 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 you will understand transformation so differently. Even more than, by the way, like just doing a bunch of ayahuasca or whatever. It's that you're following all of life. It's that that can be a starting point or meditation or whatever, but you got to also follow life. Some people add meditation, but then still live in all the patterns of the old life, which would be like, which would be like, okay, like I'm, <laughs> I'm getting ready to go to the gym. I'm preparing, but also how you move in every second is God. How you move in every second is like you, we need you, right? I want you to start the process of not only listening to what's inside on a level past, but following what it says, following what it says, because it has a, a message that's only yours. And then you're going to go through a little bit of this. You're going to hear this thing that's unique and you'll be like, well, the world doesn't do that. You know what I mean? The, that, and it's like, right, I got your own way. You're birthing the new world. You'll be like, what it wants me to do. I, I don't have any comparison of anyone else doing that. And it's like, right, I have your unique way for you. It's a calling, even if you've never seen it before. Right? Don't compare it to what the world is already doing. It's got unique for you. It's got your thing for you. Boy, it's an amazing time. And, and you don't get to, you're, we're kind of in a time where you can't escape this anymore. This is now the way it works, right? You, you, you only got a few more little attempts to run from this. And it's finally like, welcome to the real you. Let's live this. Let's hear you more than content today, right? So today we're going to do an extended meditation, Right? Because you're going to listen to what it says, and you're going to hear it, and you're going to start to, here's another thing, you're going to also learn how to listen differently, right? I want you to, you're, you're, sometimes it's giving you insights that are smaller than the area that you qualify as an insight, so you overlook it. So this is also the practice of learning how to just follow a feeling or a quieter voice or whatever, right? We're going to learn how to follow energy. Sometimes it talks in vibration and not a do this. Like, it'll just be like, follow this feeling and you learn how to follow the feeling, right? So I want you to really shift. And, and we're getting on the treadmill by doing an extended meditation today, right? We're gonna, we're gonna actually, you're gonna work out now and listen, right? And hear what it says. Right? We're going to hear what it says. Just hear what it says. Deep breath in. 
release it. And even if you can't measure it saying anything, can you trust that it's still doing its work? Do you get with that? Like, even if you don't have any tangible next step or idea or anything, it's still doing its work. Deep breath in. Listen with me. You're going to make a gift for the world just by listening and letting the now be your highest connection. Don't be so addicted to what the world's doing. Don't be so addicted to social media. Close all your other tabs. Don't pick up your phone. Let's do an extended meditation. Close your eyes. Be here. And if you, if you need to open your eyes, you're welcome to walk around, whatever. I'm going to be right here with you doing this meditation. But I might also walk around a little bit. But just no talking to anyone else, no distractions, no, no searching anything. This is your moment with God, with all of us doing it at the same time, making a collective vibrational leap today. Deep breath in. Release it. Surrender. Surrender.